Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to work with tab stops in Word. I'm going to be using Word 2010, although it's the exact same story in uh, 2007 and 2013. So we're going to format a document to look like this. I'm cheating. I already have the document. It's just missing the tab stops like this. It's a pretty big difference. Um, anyways, let's just look at the finished product for a minute here. It's got some things like borders and it's got a texture and some word art, but this is what we're talking about. Tab stops are one of the things that people generally struggle with when they are learning Word. So a little bit of a, just let's get started here. Um, on the home tab, there's the show hide button right here. You really need this button on when you are trying to learn Word, particularly when you're working with tab stops. You notice it shows uh, little arrows for tab stops. The other thing that you absolutely have to have when you're working with tab stops is on the view tab, and that is this ruler checkbox, right? You can toggle it on and off, but you should have it on. This is how you place your tab stops most efficiently. So this is an interesting document because it shows something, an application where you actually could use tab stops. I think a lot of people just think of them as an academic exercise, which they're not. And so let's not dwell too much on where my tab stops are. If I were to click in this first paragraph, you can see I've got a tab stop here and here. Those are tab stops if it's new to you. Let's not get too concerned about where they're at. Right? They're roughly at three and six and a half inches, but that's kind of missing the point. Let's head over to our unformatted document and uh, start working with these things. The first thing that stands out to me is I don't have the show hide button. Now I can see my tab stops. So I'm going to click in the first paragraph. Let's just start at the beginning. This is kind of my menu for tab stops. If you hover over it, it says right tab. Yours probably says left tab because that's the default. If you click on it, it changes to center tab, right tab, and there's many different options here. We're not going to get into that. So really what I want to have happen is I'm saying this is where it is, right? This is fine. It's aligned at zero on the ruler. Um, I'm saying when I tab, this tab, instead of going here to half an inch, I want it to go to three inches, like that. And so I lay a tab stop down. We'll talk more about what I did in a minute. And that's kind of cool, right? My tab stop, instead of stopping at half an inch, now it goes to three inches. Now, when you lay tab stops down, you really just click on the ruler and they go wherever you click. If I want one around six and a half, I'm gonna click here one time, and there's my tab stop. And notice now I've got the layout that I was going for. Now the thing that's missing are called leaders. Now placing tab stops is one thing, placing leaders is another. And so you need to go to the tab stop dialog box and the easiest way to get there is by double clicking on a tab stop. Here's the box that I was talking about. So Lou, I'm gonna start by just, you'll notice I've got the three inch tab selected, that one right there. Uh, I'm gonna place a number four leader on it. I'm gonna set it, I'm gonna click okay. And there's that underline, right? So I didn't have to manually do that. Uh, now I'm going to place a leader on the tab stop at six inches. So I'm going to double click on that tab stop. Do notice that uh, the three inch tab stop is still the one that's selected. It's always going to be the first tab stop in the paragraph. It's your job to select the other tab stop and then give it a leader, set it, press OK. And then we've taken care of our first line. So now I'm going to head down to the second paragraph. Notice this is a fundamentally different paragraph. There's only one tab stop. Now that tab stop is probably going to go around here somewhere. Let me show you kind of a cool trick. Now it's real picky when you just click and drop them down. Oftentimes what I like to do is click in the ruler and drag. So I click and I drag and I get those guidelines, right? And so it's easy to line things up like this. And I let it go and there's my tab stop. Now I'm going to set the leader double click on the tab stop. I'm going to notice there's only one tab stop in this paragraph. I'm going to set it. I click OK and it's taken care of. Now I could do that for the next paragraph or I could realize you know what this and this are formatted exactly the same. Same leaders, same position. So I'm going to use the format painter which I like a lot which is on the home tab. I click in my starter paragraph. I'm like I like this paragraph. So I click on the format painter. I select this paragraph. And my, not only are my tab stops carried over, but also my leaders, which is pretty cool. Now, this paragraph right here is a lot different, right? It doesn't have any, a lot in common with any one of these paragraphs because there are three tab stops. So that means I'm going to need three tab stops. 
So I'm going to start by placing one. I'm not too interested in details here. I don't know. I'll put one around three. Oh, that's a fun mistake that I just made. You see how I just wrecked line two? And it's because I didn't want to put a tab stop there. Like, that's the one I wanted. And if you want to delete a tab stop, the easiest way is to click and drag and just pull it off the ruler. Notice that since I had the third paragraph selected, I, I my tab stop went there. I meant to be in the fourth paragraph. And now let's start laying down some tab stops. Put one at three, one at four and a half, one at six. Right, I'm just putting them down. It's not that important where they go. I mean, we're here to place tab stops. Now, you're supposed to double click on a tab stop to open up that menu, but sometimes if you're not good with a mouse, you'll do something weird like that. Accidentally put a whole bunch of tab stops. Not a good idea. Let me clean up my mess. There is another way to get to that tab stop dialog box. And it is under the paragraph dialog box. Not really that intuitive. I don't know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. In the paragraph dialog box, which you should be familiar with, there's tabs. And this takes us right to where we were. And so each one of these tab stops, they're all going to have a number four leader. So I'm going to set it going to set it. Notice I have to set these things individually. I click OK and voila, right? Uh, let's say I decide that zip is just too long. Well, one thing that you can certainly do is you can take a tab stop and you can click and drag. You can move it, right? I don't know where it should be. We're just going for an approximation here. We've formatted now the top of our document. Let's head down to this second set of tab stops. And let's also, while we're at it, take a little look at the uh, finished document. These are a little fundamentally different because in this example there's a tab stop in front of the information whereas here there wasn't. So there's two tab stops. Let's not care too much about where they're at. Sure you could see them up here if you wanted to but that's not the kind of details that I'm concentrating on. So I'm going to click on this first paragraph and I'm also at this point going to mention that when I have three paragraphs with the exact same tab stops I could just go set them wholesale like this. But I'm a big fan of just do it right once and then format paint it later. So I'm going to take my left tab stop and I'm going to drop it down somewhere around here. Doesn't really matter where. And then I'm going to go with a right tab stop. So notice I switched it for the first time. And I'll put that somewhere around here. It doesn't matter so much. Now I'm going to set a leader on these tab stops. So I'm going to double click. And this is a pretty good newbie mistake. Sometimes people, you notice I clicked on that one. I'll go number two, set, OK. I notice I had the wrong tab stop selected. This looks ridiculous. This doesn't look good. Uh, there's no situation where this would be really what you want to do. So I'm like, oh, I didn't want a leader on that one. Remember, it's a leader because it leads up to the tab stop. I want a leader up to this one. So I set that. And that's what I'm going for. And since these are all similar, I'm going to format paint these. And that's as close to a shortcut as you'll find. You might be thinking something like, oh, these are a little off line, they're a little out of line. Well, there's no reason you couldn't just grab them all at once and move it like that. You're only allowed to do something like that if they are the exact same. And they are. And so that's how that worked. Now, one of the things I didn't talk about is the different kinds of tab stops. A right tab stop doesn't have anything to do with it being on the right or the left. Remember, all of these were left up here. But when you do a right tab stop, what it means, it means the right edge of the word is going to be aligned with that tab stop. You can't see it well right now, but when I do that, you can. Notice, right, you see that line going down the page. Right? So since it's a right tab stop, the right edge of the word is aligning with the tab stop. Now, that's a pretty robust first prize. But I guess it helps to illustrate the point. Um, so if you like this video, make sure to give me some feedback, because I don't do that many word videos, generally speaking. But uh, I did today. Thanks for watching.